That's, this is we're going to make a DL flyer, and what a DL envelope! It's A4 folded to DL, and what it is is what we're going to make is this guy. So this is just to, we're only going to do one side. So this is the cover here, the back, and the fold. Okay. So what it is? So it's got to work out that with the cover, it's got to be it folds down to A4, and so the way it works, I've got a few samples here. I'll sh we'll show this in class, but this is what it is. So this here is a DL. The size is A4. There's your cover. That's the back. That's the fold. So this cover that you can see here is going to be a, it's 297 in all. So that's 100 for there. 100 for the back from there to there and 97. So this little fold here is a little bit smaller. So when you fold it around, it can fold inside and it doesn't hit against the cover. So when you, so in InDesign, it looks a bit odd. So you've got the 100 on the right-hand side, 100 in the middle, 97 there. And when this guy flips over, then it changes to this one. So it's gonna, when we're finished, it's gonna look something like this. So on the here, you've got 100 cover, 100 and 97 for the fold. And the in, when you flip it over, to so the inside, that means that the hundreds now on this side here. Hundreds always the same in the middle, and 97 for the fold. You can design all the way across this middle section, but here you've got to be a bit careful. You've got to cover your back and the fold. So another, a few other things that we've got is, yeah, all good. So that's that one. So that's what an A4 folded to DL is. There's lots of them if you look them up, but that's what it is. So the way we set it up, we want to set it up with pages, like so it's individual pages like this. So the way that works, is file so new document or oh, this is just pretty standard so this one we want it to be the it's a hundred we'll just make them all a hundred wide and they're 210 deep because that's the depth of a4 so 100 by 210 we want three pages we're going to do it to do the first three first facing pages means that they'll face across just say margin, for example, that'll give us our margin that we can work off, no gutters or anything. So three columns, so it's 100 wide, so it's this one here, by 210 deep, and just go create, and that gives you this thing. So the pages are in these random orders, and you can see in the page palette over here. But what we want to do is allow document pages to shuffle, uncheck that, drag these guys up next to it, so then you've got your three pages. Then what we want to do is copy those down. So there's a few ways to do this. You can hold shift down, select all three of those. If you drag those down onto the extra pages, you've got front and back. There's all your pages done, but the problem, not the problem, but the thing with these guys is they're all 100 wide. We don't want that. So we want to come up to these pages. So remember, you've got your cover over on this side. That one's going to be 100. So if we go to our page tool, which is just second underneath here, under the direct selection tool, under the selection tool, this page here is currently 100 wide. It's what we want. So if we click on here, this page here, see it's gone blue here, is 100. But this one, that's gone blue. We want that guy. Click up here, and that's going to be 97. So that does our 97. So when we, it's quite simple. So when we're going to go down to here. We're into this section now, that one is 100, that one's 100, that one's 100. So when we flip these around, because remember we had the 100 up here, and this is all going to turn over and be the opposite, so then the 100 for this one is over here, which is 100. And this one, just the opposite, this guy up here is 97. That's it. That's all you have to do. So when you, when you output this one, so as you design, you'll start to design and do your covers and bits and pieces on this thing. We might put some bleed on this one, which I didn't hear. So when I said file new at the very beginning, new document, you can go back and do it, it's not a problem. Down here, we can put bleed down here. We put If we put three mils off the edge, so if I preview that, it can give you this red bleed down here that you can see. I did, didn't do it on the original one, that's just no problem. So go back to our one, go to file, Document setup and go to bleed. So that's where your pictures bleed off the edge, which we'll do, we will learn a bit more about later on. So that's going to be okay. So now your pictures, if you want to place a picture or put something in here, so if it's or any full color or something, so we're going to put that will bleed off the edge of there for the cover. Okay. And what that's done really is just done that. So all we've done is just set up um, individual pages. We did 100 by 210, and then we just changed one of them using the page tool, clicking on the one that we want to change, and that we can change that to 97. So that's 100, 197. So when we print these out, it'll look wonderful. So when we get back to this bit, 
Okay, so there's your 100. So this bit here will just fold into there. The cover will go over the top and it will look wonderful. And if you look here on the internet, there's so many different types of them. Okay, so it's stock standard. It's a very common thing that you'll be making. So you can see there, this 100 depth here, so this little fold in the middle here, that goes, that's why it's a different, that's why it's three mils wider, just so it all fits in there neatly, and this doesn't butt up against that. So now we've done all this, we're gonna, we wanna, when we're saving this to print it or to see whatever we wanna do, so file, you've been making PDFs a bit. Adobe PDF, just in this case, smallest file size still. So this is DL, this is what, wherever you're gonna do it, into the right spot, so save this guy. So this one, remember we want spreads, it's gonna go across three, view PDF after exporting so we can see. And now we're gonna go, that was under general, so we want marks and bleed, so we want crop marks to show where it's gonna cut the page out. I tend to do registration marks just because I do, and page information is wonderful because it gives you the name of the file on the PDF. We've set some bleed, so set doc, use document bleed settings here, and it goes to three mil because we set it for that one. So if I just go export, That'll just go through. And you can see based on my PDF here, that's a two page PDF. They're the two pages. And you can also see as I go from, as I flip through, you can see up here that it just slightly moves out of whack a bit. And that's good. That means that you've done a, the right job. So you've got 100 here, 100 here, the cover, back, fold. So there you, that's where it's gonna be cut out. You can see the, that bleeds off there. And this one's a little bit smaller because as you can see, this trim mark's moving slightly. So that's wonderful. And then, so when, with that one, the what you do that, and then off you go. So back to InDesign, you can make layers, you can keep that layer there if you wanted to, and then just get rid of that one, and then just go crazy, then just design away. But in our one, for argument's sake, we're only gonna do one, so we're doing the first page for our one. So if you just go File Place, we'll have that somewhere. So I'm just gonna make sure, just go backwards a bit. So we've got this guy, so Save Image As, or we would have, it's there for you to download. So you're going to save, in this case, we've just got one. Back to InDesign, make sure you are on the right, on the right section. So file place, same as all our stuff. Where are you, mister? That one, open. So we'll just drag that out and that will go out to your full A4. Come down. Remember, these are slightly out a little bit, but they're fine for what we're doing. So then you can just go through with this one. We're going to do. Remember, you've done text wrap in some stuff earlier on. So when you do get up to that, that's just yep. So that's okay. You'll make a mark. You'll get that in there. We might go into that in the class, but that's it. Okay, we've got some text there. We've got some boxes with round corners and things like. That. I might make another video on that on making this one, but I was this video was really just to setting up the deal. Okay, thanks, guys.